All right, so welcome everyone to Virtual Coffee Break with Tanisha. And today we're gonna have some travel talk, right? So we're talking about tips and things that you can do to build and promote your IntelliTravel business. Um, some of the things I was just sharing how when I started the business, I was broke and I could not take any time off because I didn't have any. And so me and my best friend, we would literally go to the local hotel that was like a couple of miles from our houses. It was a courtyard and we would tour, we would go live and tour the, you know, the hotel and tell people this is a great option if you want to come to Disney, but you don't want to stay on a Disney property and you want to do things outside of Disney, you can come here to Melbourne, Florida. We're close to Cape Canaveral. We're close to the Melbourne airport. And we would showcase that particular hotel, which was a, it was a beautiful courtyard, um, but it was very close to the Melbourne airport. And then we would just sit in the lobby and go live on Facebook and talk about why we started the business and how we love the business. And we had a lot of people join our, um, join this business because of us just having normal conversation about it. The other thing is doing tours, right? Um, I have several business partners that are in this area. And one day, uh, I don't remember who set it up, but they called Margaritaville Resort here in Orlando and said, hey, we have about 14 or 20 uh, IntelliTravel agents that want to come and tour your property. And so they scheduled a date and time for us to come and they assigned someone to us. They took us to outside of the resort. They have a whole section of vacation homes and reunion. And so we got to tour those 13, 14 bedroom homes um, that you know clients can use. They took us on a tour of the resort, Margaritaville, and they were doing, they were building some new vacation homes. Um, you know, they got the pool and all of that. So we got to tour to all of that. And then at the end, we said, okay, let's all go meet at Bahama Breeze for lunch. So now you got, you know, 14, 20 agents at Bahama Breeze. This is great content for your social media to show people that this is a fun business to be in. And what did it cost us? Gas to get to Orlando and our lunch. We were going to burn up the gas anyway. We were going to, we had to eat anyway, right? So why not eat with your business partners at a new location? Um, I love uh, what Mashara and Shamika were talking about, Viator. So one of the things that I used to do with Viator, Viator, if you didn't know, that is our supplier. If you go in your IntelliTravel back office under book travel, you're going to see activities, right? That's the Viator booking engine. And so I would look at, let's say, for example, Italy. I would pull up Italy and you can sort by price or type of activity. And I would pick like activities that are under a hundred bucks that you can do in, um, in Italy. And I would, you know, make a note of some of those things. And then I would go live in my travel group and I would talk about excursions and activities that you can do in Italy, right? So it's not always, you don't want to have a travel group where you're constantly just saying, um, you know, uh, book this trip with me, book this trip with me, book this trip with me. You also want to provide great information about the industry of travel as a whole. And so using Viator, I mean, just think about that. Every week, if you wanted to post something in your travel group every day, you could pick a different destination every single day. Matter of fact, the other thing I loved about Viator is it's also domestic, right? So I, I'm now living in Central Florida. Oh my gosh, if you type in Orlando and Viator, it's so many activities and things you can do in Orlando. It's, you can literally go live every week talking about a different activity. You know, it's the airboats, it's Gatorland, it's, um, uh, you know, the cruise ports, it's the museums, it's, I mean, Iconic Drive, I Icon Park. It, I mean, they got um, escape rooms, right? They got pub, what are they called? Pub crawls. I, I always have to say that really slow. Pub crawls or bar hopping things, right? Restaurants, um, dinner crews. I mean, there's so many things you can talk about in your own city that you don't even know exist. And it's for free. And then you can even like, uh, and I think, um, can someone correct me if I'm wrong? Aren't you able to get your own Viator link? Are you able to create, your, get your own website with them? 
Yes, ma'am. You do it right in your back office the same way. So when you go to your back office and you click on activities, it will take you to the travel agent site and then you register there for your own link. And I drop when I tell you, when I see people who are out on vacation already, I go ahead and drop that link and say, well, go ahead and use my link to book you some excursions while you're there. There you go. And I've literally gotten paid from that. Just just dropping links and, and didn't know who the people were. That's it. Guess what I'm going to do when I get off of this Zoom? Go get my Viator link. Because that, that's easy money right there. That's easy money right there. And people, especially here in Florida, people are always coming to Florida to just be able to share that link. Not even just Florida. If I know, if I see somebody that's in Aruba, guess what? I can drop the link and say, hey, while you're there, you can, there you go. Easy, easy, easy. So there's so many things. Um, I'm trying to think. Who put me on, Lanise, was that you that put me on to the resort pass? I don't know if it was me, but I have I have right. um, these resort passes. Um, when we, um, when we um, go out of town, I look for resorts that I want to visit and then request through the BDM for a resort pass. Okay, there's a website. And there's also an app. I cannot remember who put me on to this, but whoever did, thank you. I can't remember right now. But you can, the resort pass will allow you to pick anything. So let's say I wanted to do Orlando. And let's say I want to pick, See, let's, this is, my husband's birthday is March 9th. And actually, I was thinking of doing it. So let's say I put March 11th. No, we work from home. We self-employed. Let's do it on his birthday. All right, so now I can go here. And y'all know I'm bougie, so I'm only looking to do <laughs> four or five star. I ain't trying to do nothing less than that, right? Omni Hotel is literally 10 minutes from my house. And I keep saying, I need to go check out that resort. I need to go check out that resort. Well, guess what? I can book a day pass or a cabana for my husband's birthday, right? I could do the adult cabana, 450 bucks, right? With the chaise lounge, it has a TV, ceiling fan, towels, right? Or if I'm going to be cheap, <laughs> I could do the day pass, right, for $40, and we just go hang out at the Omni for the day. I don't need to stay at their, in their rooms. I live 10 minutes from here. But to be able to lay, sit in, that's me, y'all, in the Lazy River, just so you know. Order some food poolside and just hang out, right? This is something you can do with your kids, right? I can tell Jace, okay, get a couple of your friends. And, you know, for the day, we're going to do a sleepover at the house. But for the day, uh, we're going to go hang out at the Omni. The kids would love that. Right. And it tells you everything that you can do at this resort. For $40. Think about that. They got a wave pool. You can get a, a pass for the spa. It gives you the hours. It tells you um, how it works, right? You have to select the date and how many people bring an ID. And you could do this for anywhere, anywhere. So it's, you know, it's all over. Anybody have any questions about this? Who, who's about to download the Resort Pass app? I'm on it, right? The worst of the Hey, Tanisha, this is Beverly. What's the link? I can't. Can you put the link in the chat? Uh, just go to resortpass.com. Hold on. Okay. Okay. All right. I got you. I can't see. Let me see. I, I got it. Let me see. Resort Pass. Oh, that's in it. Mm. Why can't I? Oh, wait a minute. But they have a mobile app. I have the app. So I posted the link. But okay. you go to the app store on your phone and type in resort pass. Download the app, register, create your username and password. They'll send you emails. 
that's another thing. Now, what I am going to um, look at, I'm wondering, and it, it might even be in Viator. Viator might have an option where you could sell resort passes. Because wouldn't it be nice to be able to offer that and get a commission on it? I'm sure it exists somewhere, somehow. Um, but that be something for us to look at. But again, I'm just saying in general, for you as the travel business owner, here's a resource that you can use for yourself so that you can experience the industry that you're in. People do not want to book travel with someone they don't see traveling. And so if you don't have a passport and you can't afford an international flight or whatever, excuse me, Skylar, Skylar, <laughs> right? We can all spare 40 bucks for, you know, a weekend to go do a, a day pass at one of these resorts in our area, right? And I don't care wherever you live, there's a resort, all right? Any questions, comments, feedback on that? Well, Tanisha, this is Beverly, and, and thank you for that, because I thought you had to get with the BDM of the specific travel supplier BDM and get it and get the uh, day passes that way because I've done that before Carl and I traveled out of uh, the country and we got a day pass but mm -hmm. to know that I can go through this app now and just book it and go anywhere especially domestically that really helps because what you say it change it uh, changes the game if I don't have the money to travel I can now I can actually be out there and people can actually see that. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Also, I wanted to share, I know you guys kind of moved from that, but I wanted to share, I had two promotions last week. Um, Layman became a go. Woo -woo. Yeah. And she's on, she's on here now. And Rhonda Cummings is a bronze builder. That was the same day. Congratulations. So, that is fantastic. So Beverly, Let's talk about this because at one point, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, you were feeling stuck in your business. So I want to know, and everybody on here wants to know, what changed for you that got you moving? Because I mean, you are on fire right now. Well, thank you, Tanisha. And I wanted, I wanted to say it's plugging in. But not only plugging in and taking the, the information and applying it. You know, it took me a while because I had to work on Beverly. See, the first thing I got to work on is Beverly. And this company, the culture that we have in this company allows me to work on me. If I stay plugged in, I get on those MIBs, I, uh, the MIB calls, I get on the prayer call, I, get, I plug in everywhere I can. I hear the presentation over and over and over. And I and I'm coachable and I've been applying those 14 pillars, you know, coachability, loyalty, um, accessibility, du uh, being duplicate, du you know what I'm saying? Duplication, du duplicatable. Oh, you know, myself. But um, just applying those pillars and just really plugging in and becoming coachable and listen and, and getting out of my own way. Because I even felt myself the other day, a lot of things came up and we are moving so quickly. I could feel that fear trying to take over. And I talked about it. I talked about it with uh, Director Scott. I talked about it with my coach. And I talked about what was coming up for me. And I said, now get out of your own way. And I asked Orlando uh, Moore at the meeting and I said, what do I need to do more of? He told me, he said, get out there. He said, just recruit, just don't stop, move, move. And I said, okay, let me really be intentional. So I'm not just sending texts out anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm calling the people. I'm, when I'm out, I'm not, I'm not aggressively doing it, but my posture has changed too. And I know I have, a, I have something that they need. So mm -hmm. the, my posture has really changed. So the biggest thing for me is I've changed, I've grown, and now I'm listening and I'm applying what's being said. Just what you said on this call, I'm going to apply it all. Anytime you tell me something, I'm going to apply it. That 40 days, 40 nights, what the work looked like, bam. If anybody was not in that, I, even if you were in that with Tanisha and um, <clears throat> Director Brown, uh, you guys, we need to go back and listen to that information over and over because applied knowledge is power. And I'm going to be quiet because I could keep running my mouth. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And let me show you what Beverly is referring to. We did a boot camp called 40 Days, 40 Nights, what the work looks like. Um, and to make it easier for people to take themselves through the boot camp, as opposed to being in the group, because you're going to see some other things in the group. If you go to my YouTube channel, 
Lifestyle by Tanisha. Lifestyle by Tanisha. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and then go to playlists. You will see a specific playlist dedicated only to the 40 day, 40 night, what the work look like boot camp. And this boot camp, it's going to be a six week boot camp with a series of videos for you stream. to watch. And as you can see, they're all labeled in order week one, week one. So maybe you start your boot camp this Sunday, watch the week one training video, and then follow it up with the run to play for week one. Then the following Sunday, watch the week two training video and apply what we're teaching you during that week. The next Sunday, watch the week three training video and apply what you learned from that training during the week. Then go to week four, right? That next Sunday, watch that training video and apply what you learn during that week. Then you have week five has training and run to play. Um, and then there's some additional videos here for uh, guidance. So watch that. There's a week five. So that next Sunday, run to play for that week six, the final boot camp, And then here are some supporting um, training videos to uh, support some of these plays, right? If you take yourself through this boot camp and apply, the key word is apply, and that is what Beverly was saying, don't just get the information and take notes, you got to apply it. By the end of the boot camp, you should know exactly what you should be doing every day to build your planet marketing business as well as we didn't this wasn't focused on the travel side but there were some activities that you can incorporate in your dmo so that you can also promote your IntelliTravel business as well so i encourage everyone to um uh, to do that i actually was on the phone with someone who kind of fell off from their business they're ready to press the reset button and guess what? I said, okay, take yourself through this 40 day, 40 night boot camp if you're serious. And then schedule a one on one with me after you've completed the six weeks. Now we can have a conversation and I can answer all your questions. But this way, now people are, it's a self paced. Nobody's getting kicked out. You can watch the videos repeatedly. Um, there's QA from the team. So, probably any question that you have, we answered it on the boot camp because someone asked that question. And if you want to um, join the boot camp group, the group is still open in there. You will find tons of testimonials from people who have gone through the boot camp and they're sharing what they got out of it. Um, so thank you, Beverly, for bringing up the boot camp. It, it has been very, 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 very helpful. Mm -hmm. Danette said, I'm going back over it now. <laughs> Danette, why do you feel like you need to go back over it? Just curious. Um, the second week we kind of like fell off because we went away for a funeral to Guyana. Okay. So we kind of got like, so we were going through it, but we didn't really get to implement everything. So okay. that's good. That's good. So isn't it nice that you got that? Because if you try to go through it through the group, now you got to find, well, which week is this? Which week is that? But the playlist makes it super, super easy for you. Um, yeah. That's good. Anybody else have any questions, comments, feedback? This is a great, great topic for today. Hi, um, I have a, a real quick question. Mm -hmm. I know you were talking about um, using our sites for church and activity. Have you, I had advertised the Golden Gates. Have you used it? And you think that's something that will be beneficial for the activities? Have you used uh, the Golden Gate? What, what activity are you saying? um for traveling you know we're talking about Viter. yeah and have you what about the uh, golden gate have you used that golden gate you site mean golden for, tickets oh uh, golden tickets sorry oh uh, yeah yeah absolutely i have a whole <laughs> little um blurb like i'll go out that's another thing like if there's an, an activity that's coming go get some pictures of that activity right whether it's a concert or a sporting event or whatever post it and then put the link to actually purchase the tickets for that event. That's a post right there to promote. Absolutely. I just actually did that for Jazz in the Gardens uh, on my page. I just yeah. literally went to their website, screenshot the artist that said Jazz in the Gardens, and then uh, put their description of what it was and put my link to purchase your ticket. There you go. Yeah. Do that all day long. So you're talking about having good content for your travel group? 
That's the way you do it, you know? And if you have, um, I wouldn't over inundate your personal page with travel promotions and deals, because if you're also a builder, you don't want people to think that all you do is book travel. Um, but every now and then, it won't hurt to share something from your travel group to your personal page so that you get more people to join your travel group. And now you can keep all the travel conversations in your travel group and then use your personal page as kind of like your marketing page, um, you know, your recruiting page to really share and ask people, you know, come and join me by starting a home-based travel business. So share from your trap, post it in your travel group first, these promotion deals, specials or whatever. And every now and again, share that post to your personal page so that you can draw more people to join your travel group. So, so Director Burke, you're saying, if I think I got this, you're saying post it in your travel group first, and then instead of posting it on your personal page, share it from the group to the page. Right. Because there's got people it. on your page, D, that don't even know you have a travel group. Right, got it. Right, in your travel group, you probably got some group, you know, group cruises. You might have some group trips to Dubai or whatever that you're able to pin at the top of the group so that everybody, when they go to that group for the first, for the first time, they're like, oh my gosh, she got a group trip to Greece. She got a group trip to Dubai. Okay, now they're going to start tagging their friends. Hey, we should go on this. We should go on that. Yeah, you know you got a group page, travel group, but nobody else does unless they're in it. So every now and then, yeah, I would do that. And then that will also allow you to tag people in that post from your personal page. And, and now they'll want to join the group. Mm -hmm. exactly. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. And this is a great way to, um, because if you're a builder like me, like literally for my first six years in this business, I only focus on building. I wasn't trying to book travel for nobody because I'm like, I need to replace this corporate salary. Them one-time commissions ain't going to do that for me. I need to build a team. But I had told myself, once I get my family out of harm's way financially, I'm going to really start investing some time in building my IntelliTravel business as far as booking clients and earning those commissions. So now my goal for 2023 is to get that $5,000 in travel commission so that I can be a travel genius and get that 80%. I want that 80% coming in my household, right? So now I do want to put out there that I have all these trips and hey, I'm a travel agent. And there's some people like, you book travel? It's, it's so surprising to me how many people will jump in my inbox and say, are you able to book trips? because they know me as someone who sells travel agencies, but they didn't know that I could also book trips because I was not promoting that. And so just by now putting out there, um, you know, that I booked a trip for someone or whatever, that's also attracting people to me that want to book travel. So let me, let me show you all this as well. And I'm gonna share my screen in a moment this is something that you want to do if you don't have a canva account i highly recommend you get a canva account um and so i have on my canva i create this right i booked a birthday cruise on royal caribbean so i, I share this image in my travel group i didn't put my client's whole name i, I did their first initial and their last name right Thank you, S. Scott, uh, for booking with me. And then I put this. And then guess what the next post can be? It could be a video, a YouTube video of this particular cruise that I booked. And so there may be people now be like, oh, that cruise looks good. I want to go on that cruise. And then now they're going to reach out to me. And I shared that on my personal page that, hey, I'm booking travel, right? When I closed out, here's something else you can do. Um, to attract people to the business. Go look at how much you booked in travel for 2022. How much in travel, gross sales, did you book? And then do a whole post about that, right? And I was able to 
now, and this is a big deal for me because I, I wasn't a booker, right? I really only started booking from June of last year to December, but in that six months, I booked $23,000 in travel. So I did a whole post saying, I'm so glad I started this business. I, you know, for, I closed out 2023, I'm 2022, just the last six months of booking $23,000 in travel. Thank $23,000 in travel. Thank you to everyone that um, has supported me in my travel business by booking travel with me, right? And then if you're planning a trip, blah, 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 right? So now I'm also attracting more people. They're like, oh, wow, she's, I thought she just sold the travel business. She's also a booker too. And guess what? Those people who are not interested in becoming an entrepreneur will now reach out to me um, to book travel. Um, I have a client they just, this gentleman has just been following me on Facebook for years. I don't know him, but I don't know. I'm a, I must have sent him a friend request years ago or whatever, or he sent me one. We've been, we just been friends on Facebook for years. I don't think we, we really even communicated. He just, you know, we all have them, followers on Facebook. And he reached out to me to book uh, a trip to Jamaica for his wife, for her birthday. And I've just developed such a great relationship. And his wife called me yesterday and she said, I'm so thankful that, you know, thank you so much for putting this trip together for me. She's like, I've been, I hope you don't mind, but I've been referring you to all my friends. And she said, all my friends, she's like, they were thinking that it costs more to book with a travel agent. And she said, I've been telling them, no, she's like booking with a travel agent saves you money. She said, me and my husband, all we had to do was tell her what we wanted. She did everything. And she sent us different options to choose from. She is amazing. Listen, if you need to book a trip, call her. You know how thankful I am for that? That's Look, that's going to help me get closer to my $5,000 in travel commission. And that was a referral from someone I don't even know who's just been following me on Facebook. So share that information. Anytime you book anything, create some type of meme where you can shout out and say, thank you, so-and-so, you know, M. Scott, thank you, whatever. Don't put their whole name out there like that and don't tag them in it because they might not want anybody to know. I don't know. They might be trying to call in sick to go on that vacation, right? But, you know, thank you, you know, M. Scott out of Georgia. And that's what I did out of whatever, Athens, Georgia, for booking your... Um, your Royal Caribbean cruise with me along with that meme. And then boom, she posted it in my travel group because I need my travel group people to see uh, people are booking with me. And then I shared it to my personal page. So now there's more people from my personal page that see that I'm able to book travel. Questions, comments, feedback. Has this been helpful? Chelsea, is this information helpful for you as our one of our brand new uh, business partners? <laughs> Wendy, you keep it in your mute button on and off. Wendy? I may have to kick Wendy out, y'all. I don't want to kick her out. Lanise, you have anything to share? No, I, but it was everything was very helpful, and a lot of the tips, especially um, because I had um, did the day passes before through the BDM, but being having that option to um, explore something closer to me, to me, I am going to take advantage of that now. And I just recently started creating the images in Canva that says booked. And it's got me a lot of, I only did two. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just did too, but it's gotten me a lot of traffic and a lot and a couple of referrals that um for people who didn't know. So that right. is a useful step. Yep. And again, booking, getting re reaching out to your BDM for the past, that's probably gonna save you money. Who knows? They might give it to you for free or it might be discounted. I don't know. But when you're doing domestic, you might not have that option. Right. So at least now you have different options. Um, either if you do have the connection to the BDM, great. If not, now you have the resort pass. 
but definitely use that um, as well. Uh, Bridget says she's at work, everyone, so she can't talk, um, but she says she's enjoying this and it's very helpful. Oh, that's great, Bridget. I'm, I'm glad that you're finding value. And this is what Virtual Coffee Break is about, y'all. Um, many of you have been plugged into Virtual Coffee Break for years, and I appreciate that, but it's so exciting to see some new faces um, virtual coffee break um, because you can really, you know, get some great information. Like I said, we never know what the topic is going to be at, be about, never. <laughs> um, but a lot of you, you know, the participants in coffee break, they bring up some things and sometimes that turns into the whole topic for today. Um, and there's, there's no other platform that I know of in Planet Marketing where they created this type of open dialogue about anything and everything. Um, it's usually going to be very specific. So I'm glad everybody's um, getting some good nuggets. Anybody have any tips that they want to share that they have learned that has helped them with the travel agency side of the business? Any tips or anything that you've learned? I, I got one tip that's been very successful to me. Um, with your travel groups, um, what I do is I schedule my travel post out for the whole week. So I have a theme. Um, I'm on. I'm going to post at minimum three times a day in my travel group. So I may have a travel good morning, have on you know travel Tuesday, have a nice day, and then um, in the late morning I'm going to have a, a picture of a nice place, maybe in um it alpha, the alpha my coast in italy or something and it may say something like let your dreams go or something i don't know and then in the afternoon when people is lunch and strolling facebook that's what i'm gonna put my packages out so i take time on sundays to go through like whatever supply i'm going to be using i'm going to put my trips together for the week i'm going to um put all those you know good morning and post everything and i have those scheduled out and so i don't have to worry about posting in my travel group throughout the weeks um I just know I have to just check in there periodically and comment on stuff and get back right. to people so it's definitely been helping me with um time so that I can focus more on the marketing side which is the side that I am more, more focused on so just a yeah. quick tip that's been working good for me yes yes I usually will travel my um, schedule my, my travel post for the whole month. You can do it for up to 30, 31 days in advance. Um, and one of the things I want to show you, this YouTube site that I found called 8K Videos Ultra HD. Go subscribe to that channel because some of my posts are their videos. And look how beautiful it is. Right, so now this is going to make people want to go to maybe one of these destinations. And I love that they give you the title of where it is. Right, maybe you get some people for Europe and they have other ones too. One of the ones um, that I love with this site. Uh, let me see, let me go to videos. They have some of the most beautiful islands, um, Switzerland, right? So you can do a whole Switzerland theme. Um, they have some that are like very specific to certain places and not just general. Um, I love this one, World's Best Cities. I've posted that in my travel group. Um, let me see. I had came across some that were very specific. Animals of Africa, that's pretty cool. Oh, this one here, Asia, that's a good one. Like I said, Europe, Antarctica. Travel around Portugal, Singapore, Indonesia, Scotland. Romania, Monaco, Japan, Belgium, Ireland, Hong Kong, the Netherlands, 
Ukraine, Poland, Switzerland, Germany, Austria, Greece, Croatia, Italy, Hawaii. Man, think about all of that beautiful content for your travel group that gets people dreaming and imagining like, oh, I want to go to Croatia. That looks beautiful. I want to go see that, right? YouTube is a great resource. There's some people who have channels on YouTube um, where they do really, really great tours of certain places. And it's not all, they're not travel agents. They're just people who love doing travel content and it's you know great quality. I use a lot of their content. It's not always book with me. Here's a trip that I'm putting together. Book it, book it, book it. But it's also just inspiring people um, to travel and to look at these other destinations. There's some people who have never left the country. And now if you're showing them, you know, these beautiful pictures of Scotland and Ireland and Europe and, you know, and they're like, wow, I'm missing out. Let, let, let me get my passport, right? And then how about you do a post talking about the steps you need to take to get a passport? What do you need to get a passport? That's a great post. Make sure your travel group is providing valuable information regarding travel. I ordered, I'm a, uh, an ambassador for away luggage, right? So I have a referral link for away luggage and I, I order away luggage. So guess what? When I got my last piece of luggage from away, um, I did a whole video of me unboxing my new luggage and told people why I bought this and you know showing them everything. And then I put my referral link. I've had like four people order away luggage from me. And I got, you know, every time they order something, I think I get like 20 bucks. So now I have like $60 in credit uh, with away luggage because people have used my link to purchase their luggage. I'm, they're in my travel group. Doesn't it make sense to promote luggage? And having a referral link, easy. Easy. If you come across anything that's beneficial for travel, share it. And if there's a way for you to get a referral from it, do that. Lanice? You made me think about um, a lot of people were asking me about those locks that you can put on the door when you travel. And so that's what I use to make a, a video for uh, my travel group just to show how it works. I'm not sure how effective it is in the long run, but because people were asking and I, I picked up one. And so it just served as content um, because we all we always wanted to um, show that we're more that we're more than just book this package with me, right? And so um, that was um, something that I recently did because people were asking me what I thought about it. So I just show how it works and I'm, I'm, you know, and also put the disclaimer, I don't really know how effective, but you know, it doesn't cost much and this is how it works. And then for me, as far as just simplifying my, the travel process or booking process, I had to make sure, well, I decided this year that I would hone in on a few destinations and a couple of suppliers. And that way um, I knew back and forth how to, how this supplier works. Um, my questions, I don't have a whole lot of questions for them because I know where to do this, how to do that. You know, if a customer needs a refund, how to do that. And so um, that was something that I decided to do this year because it's part-time for me and booking travel is part-time, part-time. So I need to make sure that this part doesn't overwhelm me. So I, you know, I decided I wasn't booking Hawaii or Disney, but I have business partners who book that so I can refer that business out versus, um, you know, putting another item on my list to learn about. I just decided to learn about a few locations and suppliers and then and run with that. Yep, that's smart. That's smart. And I always tell new business partners, pick a niche market. Don't try to be the jack of all trades, master of none. You will be overwhelmed and lost. Don't do it. Don't do it. Either Pick a niche market based on places you like to go and like Lanise say, master that or pick a niche market that your network of people like to go. If your network of people love to go cruising, become a cruise specialist. So now you already have built in clientele that you know will book with you, right? Or if you're that person like me, I love the Caribbean. I don't care where it is. If it's an island with water, I want to be there. That's me. So yeah, I'm going to be a, a Caribbean specialist. 
and it's Jamaica. It's the Dominican Republic. It's Jamaica, you know, it's all these different um, Caribbean islands because those are places I like to go. So guess what? I could book, uh, put a group trip together to go to Putacana and market it as a group trip, but I'm going. I'm going to Punta Cana this day. To the, who wants to go? If people join me, great. If they don't, guess what? I'm, I'm going anyway, and I'm going to have great content for my social media, and people are going to know me as, that's the Caribbean girl. You want to go to Caribbean? Book with Tanisha. <laughs> that's all she does is go to the Caribbean. That's her thing, right? So it's, it's very, very helpful to do that. All right. Well, we have concluded virtual coffee break today. Thank you, everyone. Uh, for tuning in. Come back on Monday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.